Ladies and gentlemen and producers who pushed the mute button a little too late, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Emo Brown, the podcast. Yo soy Esteban Garcia, el third. Alias El Champs here with the producer, Barry. My manes free basing friends. Yo. And also joining us with us is the homie Big Gum. Little teeth. No, no, we're not signing off on that. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Grasshopper. For all your medicinal, recreational cannabis needs, don't forget to pay them a visit. Make your card clack. I think I have the card. Dude, Dude, I, have, like, I have the card. Check this out. Which one you sweat. got, the new one or the old one? Dude, I got the old one. We can Ooh, yeah. That thing. The OG. Put it on here. Bro. Is that QR code still work? Yes. Let me see. Oh, no. Time to figure that out right now in front of everybody. I just want to know, dog. Boom. Wait, oh, no, they don't work. Power of friendship. Uh, we are getting new cards. This is the legit last card that we have of these uh, Emo Brown Social Club cards. So make sure if you have subscribed, if you're part of this, which there is numbers now, Barry. Thank you guys for subscribing. We will be, we'll be getting new cards uh, soon. This one, we'll see who we give it to. You have your card, right, Luis? Also brought to you by the wonderful people at Tribal. Mm. Tio Bobby, thank you for doing all you do since 1989. Tribal Click, bro, go visit them. Tribal Street, where they just put out a new line of flannel shirts, bro. We need to go down. We're still going to go con the boogeyman. Agarrar nuestros pinches Pendletons, but... Now that the Bobby at Tribal offers flannels full, we're going to have to go and get one, dog. I do need a new flannel. All my mediums are no-go. No-go anymore. Bro, you haven't been medium for a minute. I know. I was just saying, I need, a, I need an upgrade. <laughs> also brought to you by Silk Cloud. Hmm. El compita Isaac Ruiz. Always doing shows con todo. Silk Cloud for all of your knee-torn G's wearing apparel. Make sure you go in there, type in emo30 at the silkcloud.com. We'll make it pop. We'll make it work. Oh, my God. Guys, did you know, Barry? We are also now brought to you by Liquid Death. Ah, Big verdad. ups to the homie Christian of Liquid Death coming through and blessing us with a freaking lifetime supply of what seems Liquid Death now, bro. All of the things. Mountain Never water. Again. Hey, mountain water, bro. Murder your thirst. Sparkling water. Flavored water. As this, relationship, hey, as, as this relationship develops, Barry... We're going to go and use some of these flavored, sparkling, effervescent-filled cans. 19.2 tickles the tongue, bro. It's a tongue tickler. We're going to mix it with some liquor, dog. It's got, we were, I like we my were, tongue ticklers mixed with licklers. Licklers. <laughs> wow, Barry. It's <laughs> pretty hard to try it. <laughs> oh, man. I don't always drink water, but when I do, it's liquid death. Hey, it's just so good, dog. Ooh. Because it was free? Because it's in the it free? <laughs> then, I'm going to just take a stab in that. the dark, dog. Because it was free. Liquid Death, thank you for uh, helping us accomplish our goals, dreams, and aspirations. Three Punk Ales. We have special guests here from Three Punk Ales in Little Italy. Going to go ahead and come on and, you know, tell us a little bit of what's going on in Little Italy. I feel like I don't show it enough Literally. love. And last week it was apparent that Albert shows zero love for Little Italy. So I wanted to bring in Luis the Big Dog to set the record straight. Why don't you reel that thing in for us so Luis can go over it? Look at Sway, dog. Make sure you get on the Shit. camera. Get, get, get down there so you can see, bro. Like a, hey. hey! And he overshot the mark. Little Hell puppet. yeah, bro. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Luis Sendejas from Little Italy. Look at you, bro. Hello. Yeah, there it is. What's cracking, doggy? So, uh, my name is Luis and I manage the. Uh... <laughs> my name is Luis and I'm an out the high. <laughs> I like my beer. <laughs> uh, yeah, Little Italy, we got the Tres Animales four packs. Uh, we're doing some uh, open vinyl DJ stuff on Tuesdays. You can come in, bring your vinyls, sign up for a 30 minute set, drop some shit. Look at that, dude. Tur Turntable Tuesdays at Three like Punk Ales, Little Italy. Turn Tuesdays. Yep. Is that what we call it? Turn Tuesdays? <laughs> we should. That's probably already the thing. So uh, it's okay. Guess what? A lot of the shit we do is probably already <laughs> been done many times over, dog. Share your records with us every Tuesday. You're in charge that night. Yeah. You're in charge every night. Yeah, pretty much. How long have we been putting out the Turn Tuesdays? Uh, pretty almost since we've been open. So since September, yeah. You like doing that? Is it good? People respect that shit or what? Yeah, people love it. You know, you, you bring your bring your records. You get to share your music that you wouldn't hear otherwise, and everybody just kind of nerds out and talks about music and drinks beer. It's like hanging out in my living room, except with whoa beer taps and no blow up dolls. Um, a <laughs> <laughs> couple blow up dolls. Yeah, when we go to Little Italy, I get that weird feeling that it's not really like this full blown out tasty room like Third, Third Avenue is. It's more no. of a what. It's more of like a, it's a, kind of like a beer cafe. I wanted you yeah. to say that. But it's, yeah. but, it, but it's like, it's chill, you know, it's a very relaxed environment. 
Um, it's not like loud or industrial in any way. It's just like it's like a just relaxed environment. It's like everybody's just kind of hanging out together, but not really. In the heart of Little Italy on India Street, across the street from where are we across the street from? What are we across the street from? Smash Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Thank you very Shake much. Shake Shack. Bro. And next to Mona Lisa. Next to Mona Lisa, and bro. And right next Mona Lisa's to Mona Lisa. Got the fire sandwiches. A, something about your body shape tells me you're lying. Not to Mona Lisa. You've to never been to Mona Lisa? To uh, Little Italy. Oh, you've never been there. You haven't been to the, never the been tasting oh. room either? I took offense when I wasn't invited to the friends or family, considering I thought I was both, but... There so, wasn't, wasn't, so I've been boycotting it in silence. Boycotting it, dog. In silence. In silence. Oh, really? Because you were pretty vocal about Can it. Can A couple weeks I? back, yeah. What, what did I say? Hey, Luis got pretty much said that what did I say? Little Italy I doesn't matter. Oh, that's true. But, no, no, I don't stand. I, lo I love Little Italy. Mm. I just never you been. You said Little Italy doesn't matter. I right? said that verbatim? Yeah, oh, no. yeah. I said I say a lot of shit on podcasts that I don't mean. Yeah, I know. Oh. For the record. Let's for the record. That. I mean, for <laughs> the record. <laughs> let's clip that. How about that? Let's clip that. How the shit does say a lot of shit? Here. We're for, riffing that. For a man with such small teeth, you run your mouth pretty it's reckless. Like, <laughs> I get more words per second. There's less drag. Yeah. There's less drag. What's more words per second, dog? There's a reel that I've been dying to put out. I'm not sure. What? We're still talking about Little Italy. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I want it on the record that I love Little Italy. And if you haven't been there, go. When are you going? Uh, tomorrow for Turn Tuesday. Next time you're tomorrow going. Hey, for Turn Tuesdays, hey. Tuesdays, dude. Next time it you're look, going. It's like, it's like a beer cafe. Yeah. Everybody goes. They nerd out on music. They, they get their vinyls. Next it's, time it's you're a, going to a Padres street. game, right? You got to yeah, get dude. your steps in, right? Yes. I'm taking my go. John Mayer live. Uh, record that I have. It's one of three records that I own. You're not down for If you I'll do that shit, I'll fucking, I'll go with you. <laughs> and we're going to do uh, Slow Dancing in a Burning Room, and we're not going to, like, not lock eyes for that whole song. We're just going to really? play the whole song, dog. Dude, I, I have an old school fucking less. Nelson Ned record for. I don't know what that means. That Mexican artist, El Chaparrito, dog. I'm going to take him, dog. <laughs> I'm going to take that record and play it there. Dude, the most obscure record you can find every week. Which one? Just take it. Like, just find the most Seven obscure. Minute Drill by J. Cole. Yeah. I mean, I'd play it, but he fucking apparently put it down from streams. Did he already? Yeah, dog. What happened, fool? So soft. Hey, rap, there's beef. There's rapper beefs, but there will never be another Ether. Ether is, like, top-notch, second to none. He, and I'm and Jay-Z's my favorite rapper, dog. I thought it was J. Cole, dog. Nah. No? A ver. Saca la pinche tres animales, perro. We're not, we're not drinking. Let's drink we're, about we're it. We're drinking one. Yeah, we're no, let's drink it. something low calorie. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> you just drank it. You got that liquid death. Grab it. Uh, uh, there it is. Oh, shit. Look at you. Good catch. Big teeth, little hands. Soft no, to the grass. Normal size hands. Mm, tres animales coming in in a smooth 10.7%. Oh, triple fuck. IPA. It's tasty. It's smooth. There's one more left. Who would like it? Oh, uh, Barry. Well, throw it over there. I'm pretty sure you'll find it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to open that now. <laughs> salucita, brother. Salucita. A huevo. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What else we got going on at fucking Little Italy there, brother? Uh, happy hour, Monday through Friday from uh, up till five. Yeah. And yep. every Padre game. And every Padre game, $5 pints, uh, as long as they're on. Yeah. Padre, Visiting okay. or home. $5 pints, so tropeo, dude. I feel like in the current economy, $5 pints don't really exist anymore. They don't. It's, it's kind of like a little like hidden gem in the heart of Little Italy. So cruise on down. Make sure you bless your mouth with some tasty What's Suds. the walk from there? One point seven it's not miles. That bad. I, I'll downhill? Park. Downhill. No, it's it's kind of like steady. Yeah. Uphill in the snow. But like you're going, you're going downhill towards the stadium. He's going downhill already, dog. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker hasn't seen a bright day. <laughs> we haven't hit rock bottom yet, but we're, we're on our way. Get some wheels. Um, it's one point seven <laughs> miles, and I have definitely taken advantage of the offering of free parking for us, the staff yeah. inside the building. But I park in there and I walk to the game, and it's one point seven mile each way. Closing circles. Five miles, bro. I'm doing five miles. I've done five miles for 57 days straight. And then we went to spring break. We went to, took the family up to Palm Desert. And I left my spring watch at home. And I assure you, I did not walk <laughs> five miles, dog. You, so in, it's over. In Palm Springs? Yeah, it's over. You could have played so any started. one of the mini golf courses. That's fine. Though. I didn't want to play golf. Down. It was a time to disconnect. It was just a time to unwind. It was a time to like not respond to any texts or anything. It was a good time. It's a good time you should do. Hey, you're going to be a daddy now, perro. No, we're planning a baby moon. What does that mean? The hell is a baby oh, moon? Every time, <laughs> God what does that mean? Every time I come in here, I just say hey, you say some shit. shit huh? hey, no, no, no. You say some shit, bro. <laughs> How's your mom doing? Good. Good. All right. Cool. She's, shut up, mom. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> She's a long time listener. Um, a baby moon. It's like a honeymoon, but before the baby. I don't know what it's that like is. Like our bro. last vacation together. We had three kids. Never had a baby moon. There was a half quarter moon eclipse today. TikTok. But that was it. Nah, we're, oh yeah! Did you see? Did yeah, you we that? saw it. We were. Was it dope? Yeah, it was, I looked, looked right like at a, it. Looked like a yeah, fucking <laughs> Donald Trump over here. He decided just to look right at the fucking sun. <laughs> it's the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> nah, wait, it was nothing. Dogs. Fucking Plomero Cruz brought a. He brought a. 
some 3D glasses that he fucking apparently found at Chuck E. Cheese or some shit, fool. But it worked. We looked at it, and you had a little crescent part of the sun. I don't understand. What is the deal with this? What did, you seem intelligent. What is the deal seem. with an eclipse? <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal Jokes with an eclipse? What, what happens? The moon covers the sun. And that's it? Does that not happen I mean, there's often? more technical, like, you know, things to it. But, but does that ha- happen often? No. No? Really? Yo, but they... They say that shit only happens like every hundred years, but I feel like it happens every year. Like I've so, seen a few solar right? eclipses. I think it's the yeah. total eclipse because we've got a lot of those ones that are like of my partial. Heart. They go. I yeah, was like, outside. Like it was never the sun, dark. This is the moon. It goes like this. But today was the first one. Where it was like it, get, it got kind of great. It, it, you it, do eclipse is weird. Yo, <laughs> it looked like booty holes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we have to do the red <laughs> ribbon shit. Did you hear about that? What? The red, like, uh, my wife is pregnant. Oh, I so keep hearing, yeah. Red ribbon with the uh, fucking safety pins what to is protect that? the baby. I, I, I know a lot of pregnant women right now. And a, a couple of them started red ribbon. Pr- yeah, putting that on. What does Yo, that mean? We went to, to Walmart to find it last night. Why didn't my wife and I do all this shit for our, like, mm. pregnancies, bro? I, I think it's the lack of TikTok. It, oh, you're doing it for the gram? I think you just, you find TikTok that parents shit are just better. Uh, yeah, we're just more involved right. like, as a generation. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, but yeah, dog. So we went, you fucking she one for every month, one little uh, safety pin. Okay. And then we did two loops around the belly and fucking <laughs> ready for putasos, dog. Well, you fucking did a gender reveal too, huh? Yeah. You're fucking lame. And, <laughs> and, 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 and baby shower at the country club. Did you really? No, nah, I'm gonna. You're gonna be invited. Am I really? Yeah. Why you need beer or what? Nah. <laughs> fucking <laughs> fucking <laughs> gifts, dog. <laughs> yeah. Where are you registered? What's going on? I don't know. She has a link. I'll What's the it. name of the baby? I don't know yet. How fat are you? Uh, <laughs> 200 pounds today. The Give goal is what? 185. By when? June 3rd. And you're how much right now? Uh, 200 pounds. <laughs> I'm gonna let that slide. We're on the honor <laughs> system. We're on the honor system until time. the day comes. Yeah, we're gonna do it here. Yes, we are. June 3rd. Correct. Here. You're bringing a scale. And you guys are bringing cash. No, we gotta bring the scale. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This motherfucker, <laughs> yeah. homie. Fuck. He's gonna put his finger. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Uh, you guys bring in cash though. I'll bring cash. Well, I'll bring cash yeah. too. I'll bring cash. Dog. Stop playing with me. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it. Yeah, yeah. You gonna hit 185? 85. Neta, dog. Not You're down. at 200 right now. I oh. got gusto. Yeah, bro, just stop eating. What? I mean, that's how that works. Yeah, well, give yourself the mouse. Kanye diet. Just shut your mouth tight, like sew it tight, bro. like with the thing. Kind, None of us are good at shutting our mouths. Through the wire. Through the wire. Shot. <laughs> oh yeah. Hell, he did the boost for breakfast. I too know hip hop history, dog. Correct. Hey, ether though. Second tenant. That shit that make your soul burn slow. Mm, your mm. brother, your fucking compa over here sways a hot, heavy hip hop head. Yeah, he is. Not from you. Not Luis, <laughs> thank you very much for cruising through. I expect to hear reports every Monday if you're available. Now that we're open. We're open on Mondays now. Yep. Four to ten. Right. Look at us, bro. And catch us right. tomorrow. Where? At uh, Turn Louis Tuesday. Lee. Turn Tuesday. You're going to go? I'm going to go. I'm going to the Padre Games. I'll see you there. Um, I might I might have tickets to that. No, no. Yeah, I'm going. It's time to go to all the Padre Games, fool. Why? Because the not? time is now. Yeah. Tomorrow the giveaways. Now. No, they're not doing a giveaway tomorrow. Are they? To have, not, Wednesday. Wednesday's a giveaway. Wednesday's a giveaway. It's it's the the giveaway. Yeah. I have Wednesdays and Fridays. I have. I have my, all of the games, bro. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a lot. Dog. It's a lot. Oh, well, I give a lot of tickets away. I yeah. give a lot of tickets away. Sell a lot it's of a tickets. It's a write-off, no? I don't know. I, it's not business. It's my pocket. Shit. I give a lot of tickets away. So, guys. It's Padre season. That's right, Yakovich. You look like a Padre fan. Anybody. <laughs> we're, we're, that's going to be our new giveaway, Barry. Anytime we got some shit to give away, we're just going to fucking just give them away to not Plomero. <laughs> Plomero always wins. He dog. is. Plomero He's quick with those fingers. Because Plomero is always here, fool. The one that really freaked me out is how old was Britney when she had her first boyfriend? Remember no, when, when she lost her question? virginity. Was he, lost? he knew that immediately. This motherfucker, she said, 14. We're like, we had to go to the fucking the books to see what that was all about. Turns out he was right. I didn't even know if she really lost the yeah. yeah. You didn't read that book either? No. Hey, fool. You got to start reading. I don't I'm not reading the Britney Spears book. It was a good book. Was it? How old are you? 34. 34. Okay, so I'm 44. 10 years on that. 44, I heard. There was a lot of Britney Spears infatuation. In my, we were in a, we had a studio because I was in a band. I don't know if you heard. Um, and there we had a called? poster. We had a poster of Britney Spears being promoted by Pepsi Cola. And it said, I love Laser Latino. You know how I like to do those? Ever since then, <laughs> ever since day one, I was always doing the little fucking thought bubbles and just filling it in and said, I love Laser Latino. I've been a fan of Britney for many years. What's dog. your favorite song? Uh, Toxic. That's the best. That's the best. That one or, or the one, uh, you want a Bugatti? You want to sit? You work, bitch. <laughs> you I like work, that one. Uh, like work, bitch. So come on. A little Read respectful. the book. Read yeah, the book. A little, yeah. Can I borrow it? Yeah. All right. We got a lot of books. Are we doing? Are we doing this book club, Barry? I've been doing this book club. What book are you reading? Uh, right now I'm doing a book called the Cro-Magnon something. It's about the dude from uh, Cro-Mags, fucking John Joseph. Oh, uh, racism. 
What's racist? Uh, <laughs> what's Hitler? He does say some questionable Montage. shit, but I don't know. He's got an interesting story. He goes yeah. to fucking right now. He's in jail in fucking like the 1970s in New York, and it's crazy. I don't know why that's funny to you. Because the shit that he like the shit that I'm coming back to in my head. <laughs> try reading it. Audio book. He reads bro. himself. Barry reads a lot of books. Bro. Do you, Barry? I, I get a lot of books read Barry? to me a lot. No free time. I put them on when I'm fucking doing shit. Uh, audio books. Audio books. Yeah. Audio books is it's the better way. when it's, it's their the same voice. Thing. Yeah. It's How the same the, thing. I don't think it's the same thing. Do you, I don't. How do you take in information nowadays? Do you read it? Do you listen to it? Do you, are you kinetic? You do watch, you watch it. A lot, it? I think. Yeah. yeah. I think I watch it a lot. Yeah. So you watch it. But I also like reading. Like I feel. You like don't like reading. I fool. love reading, Doug. Not I read about you said reading without the R. Yeah. Ooh, eating. Wow. Well done, Barry. Yo, that was pretty good. Hey, you yeah, know what? Barry is on his A game today because <laughs> one of his best friends is going to join us on the podcast. <laughs> is he a bearded white Ladies man? and gentlemen, go ahead. We have uh, none other than Ken. El compa Jakovic. Let me look oh, at this guy. Sh- Damn. Oh, bro. shit. Hell yeah. Hell okay. yeah. All of our credit scores just went up. Nope. That's right. I'm getting you all fuckers insurance too. That's <laughs> oh, don't t- don't fuck around. <laughs> Yakovich, thank you for joining us. Uh, sorry about last week. I heard you were here and nobody else was. He has good sized teeth, there, bro. That's okay. I hung out with good sized teeth. Those are like uh, lots of okay, soft. Yeah. Okay, Dude, I'll you refer know you to my dentist. I got a good one. Let's see. <laughs> side by side. Third, Give me that tooth. All right, Albert. Let me get your teeth now. Oh no, bro. <laughs> Bro, is that a still? Oh, no, I'm still. You know what it. your teeth look like? Have you ever heard of the Easter Island? No. The teeth on those statues, bro. Vern. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Mike's picking that up. For fuck's sake, you KFC. Easter Island. No, you what's know, that? You know. Uh, eventually, we'll we'll get to that. Okay. Yakovich, what's up? Welcome, brother. What's you all about, homie? Thanks for having me, Always. guys. This is your home, bro. Uh, I brought some gifts. Let's do. Uh, let's oh, do start some with gifts. Oh let's shit! Start with bumps. Gifts, right? Yeah. When you have nothing to say, we bring oh, gifts. Shit. Apparently. Oh. Screwball, we're all fucked. Grab one, pass oh, it down. Oh no! Grab one, pass it down. There we go. He's got a long twisted story, and it involves a lot of screwball. Really? I oh, mean, yeah. I got I got a lot of stories. Depends right. on which identity you want, but oh no! Uh, I guess we're doing my reveal today. We're we're gonna tell the world that I have a separate identity. I think what the world is known. <laughs> <laughs> What's your affiliation with Screwball? Uh, so I started working with Screwball at the Holding Company, which is the music venue there that it started at, and uh, it's owned by Noodle House Bar fifteen oh two and yeah. Uh, Good people. Well, yeah, great people. Absolutely. Yeah. And then uh, we did a music program for a couple of years. BJ's one of our artists, was one of our artists. Was. Hopefully he got we're fired. Dropped him from the label. I heard he got removed. Yeah. Well, Screwball got bought by Perno Ricard, and recently we're starting up a new music program again, hopefully. Ooh, did you so, tell Barry, or is that a secret? Do covers? Secret. Uh-huh. I'm learning this for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> Barry needs to know right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you, what is your story, bro? What are you all about? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Your name's not Yakovich, or is it? Because if it is, that's a sick-ass name. Yakovich is, well, hold on. Oh, shit. Uh-oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. What's going go. on? Yakovich is my Ukrainian alter ego, you know, this new new guy come from Ukraine. He's been here for like 11 years, you know, he make music uh, for you guys. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I love the whites, dude. They're the whites so are so sick, hey, dude. Bro, it's like Andy Kaufman came in so today, bro. sick, dude. <laughs> my bad. Proceed. You, Yakovich. You're not finished. Okay, yet? I'm Yakovich now. Okay. It takes me a <laughs> minute to, you know, it's going to be the rest, the rest of the, of the interview. interview. Yeah, Yakovich, absolutely. Dog. So I come to America 11 years ago. I make music downtown, playing for a beach downtown. You know, it's like the dream come true. Uh, white girl in San Diego, uh, downtown gas lamp. Uh, that's all I want to do, baby. And uh, I play music, cover song for you, Bruno Mars. Uh, I can tell you like. And <laughs> in the fabulous band, Kel Bordeaux. <laughs> That's a fucking insult. I, I don't know, bro. I like Bruno Mars. I think Bruno Mars is amazing, dude. That is the songbird of our generation. You also you like mean? The Weeknd. I do. I love The Weeknd. More than Bruno Mars? Yes. Really? Uh-huh. Fuck, I've never listened to much of any, both of their songs, any of them. Both of them are amazing. Really? Great artists. Oh, and yeah. John Mayer. John and Mayer, too? Jack Johnson. The I, I just, too. I knew you liked John Mayer, so, was, so I had to go for it. Go yeah. head in hand? Fuck, Fuck yeah, dude. dude. John Mayer? John Mayer's great. John Mayer is a dope-ass guitarist. Your body is a wonderland. And yeah, it is. Um, John Mayer's a dope ass guitarist. Stevie Ray. All right, are we Bonsai. doing shots? What's going on here? No, oh, what shit. the fuck? I have to pick up my kids, bro. I didn't know this was going on. You're not driving the school bus, dog. You'll be all right. Man, we're going to do it. Do we have shots? I'll do a little sip. BJ told me drinking was not optional at this oh, thing. Oh, we're just taking a straight. I was, I'll, I'll I do a straight little, little. The little house. Push. Cheers. Well, we have the Attaway. Salucita. Hold on, I can't open this. Salucita. Pancita. Cheers. Nah, you're good, dog. I appreciate you. Dude, you'd be a great production assistant. Ah. So, how do you know Barry? How do you guys know each other? What is this love affair you guys are all about? Fuck. Yeah, you. you. <laughs> I'm like, me? Oh, okay. We just met in the bathroom. I mean, we had a really, really nice exchange over there. I can tell this one. Me and Jake met in 2008. 
I'm, I'm not good at dates. But mm. we met on the phone first because you were actually <laughs> the uh, VP of the record label that I was on previously. You're bad on the record boy. label? Bad boy. I was he on was the record on label. Boy. And then I'm no on the record label. No diddy. Label. <laughs> yeah. It was bad boy, yeah. Bad boy, yeah. <laughs> I saved him. Uh, but yeah, no, so I was having a tough time over there, and he actually rescued me from over there. Inadvertently, because he didn't tell me, hey, come to my label. I'm starting a label. I was just like, I want off this label. And he was like, why? What was that label doing to you? What's the deal? They were making me do all sorts of things. <laughs> it wasn't really a P. Diddy situation. It was just... No, uh... no it was more like uh, I wasn't aware of what I was signing on to when I was getting into a record label. And then... The, and we just became the, buddies. The terms we became unclear. friends. The terms were unclear. You had so I talked to him on the songs. phone, and he just seemed so fucking nice. I was like, dude, if I ever meet this guy, I'm going to fucking like this guy. Sure enough, I met him a year later at my birthday party at the Bar Dynamite. Well, we didn't meet, but we we were... That was when we took our relationship yeah. to the next level. <laughs> when fucking, uh, I was outside talking to him like, I want off this fucking label. I want on your label. And the dude that was on the other label was right behind me. So that was an easy way to make that transition. And in all fairness, the, the other label didn't do anything wrong to BJ. He was a good guy. We're all still friends. Uh, yeah, I was just... Uh, Call him out. Don't be a weenie. <laughs> yeah, what happened? I'm calling name? anybody out. It was R-Dub Rec recordings would they go by our dub our dub recordings yeah. yeah and roland's a great guy great Roland producer uh great musician but you not know not good me, enough for barry apparently a star. Well, you know I, I was i was wooing him and it's it's tough you know it's uh i'm a hard woo i just went to my first show at the elwood with barry performing and i don't know if you knew but we call him barry because, I, I just figured it out yeah. when, when you said how long have you known Barry? I'm like, who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> That's my white name. <laughs> my kids know him as Barry. Everyone in my family calls him Barry. Nobody calls him BJ because that's an I called myself name. Barry on that April Fool's episode. There I don't it know is, why. go to. So I finally went to see him at the Elwood. It's a bar that we own here on, on Broadway. Barry, you did excellent. You did. You, it was a great show. I'm happy that I got an opportunity to finally see you perform live there at the Elwood, brother. Aw, oh, shucks. It's a shame. Barry's a back. phenomenal performer. Yeah. <laughs> it was his last gig. Yeah, was huh? just, <laughs> my first, his last. I had my last gig there like three times. <laughs> ah, so you wooed him over to your record label, I presume. I did, Tell yeah. Us a little and about uh, that. so Mannequin Vanity Records is Mannequin something. Mannequin Vanity Records. Yes, sir. Uh, it's a mouthful, and, and the reason is it used to be Plastic Records because my first band was Plastic Revolution, nice. but uh, when I went to New York and I had to register, there were already five other Plastic Records in New York City. Oh, shit. So I was sitting there really high at the county clerk office, and I'm like, oh, I got to come up with something that no one's ever used before. So mannequin, vanity, records, not thinking what a pain in the ass that would be for the rest of my life. And it's a great name, though. Mannequin well, thank you. Vanity Records. Yeah, I like that. Mannequin Vanity Records. So where did you come up with that? Where did you fucking pull that from? Honestly, I, I was kind of, you know, the mannequin, the plastic, uh, fake stuff. Um, fake and then the, the label ultimately is a vanity label. We don't we don't make money, never have. Everything that, that's made gets put it's back into the project. artists. Or, uh, yeah, yeah. And I, and that's kind of the, the nature of a record label these days, uh, if you're... You know, How long have you had this record label again? 15 years. 15 years. Sure. How many artists do you currently represent? I've got 11 on the roster. We just signed a new guy. His name's Josh in the Dirty Rags. He's right. uh, from Quebec. Uh, oh, he was yeah. just out here. He's fucking awesome. He does... Uh, they call her bacon ham. Yeah. <laughs> and why did you drop BJ? Did you drop BJ? Is, is BJ it? still on it? Oh, I'll never I'm drop the first BJ. one on there. Look at that. The oh, oldest one. BJ. BJ is literally my staple artist, and uh, and he's That's my retirement staple? plan. I Honestly, Fuck. I believe that, that one day BJ is going to just I was here when we one. were an indie pop punk label. <laughs> That's right. BJ What kind of a label do you have? Do you consider it now? What what is the genre of music, or is it all it's sorts of bands? Folk world punk music. So Do we've it got again. Do uh, it again. folk folk world, world punk. Okay. Uh, we've got a couple of French bands. We've got a German band. We've got a couple of French Canadians. Um, it's not even a real country. We've got anyway. pirates. We've got we've, Irish we've got people. Pirish. We have pirates. I was once on a live stream. Um, I was in the bathroom, and I saw a live stream with you, Barry, and a young man from Germany. Yes. What's the name of that band? Uh, Circus Rhapsody. I like that band. They're awesome. They're, They'll be back out here in yeah. October. We're doing an Oktoberfest. Let's I went get down three punks involved. I went down a whole rabbit hole, dog. What, what's it called? Circus Rhapsody. Circus Rhapsody. Yeah. That's a sick ass name too. I liked it. I was like, oh wow, this is pretty cool. Bunch of creative. Reminiscent of like '90s style, like well, the songs that I that I listened to. It was very skate punkish. Oh, they're yeah. they're right yeah. there, man. They yeah. do a lot of the skate punk festivals in Europe. Tony too, Hawk One soundtrack, that type of shit. Pretty much. There was uh, a, yes. there was a Swedish punk uh, label. Uh, that Mill and Colin was on their first label, and I 
when I Fuck heard. Yes. Do you remember the name of that label? It was like uh, Puff Ball Record, Cheese Puff Records, Cheese Ball Records, something no, like that. Something yeah, but like I have a, that record. I yeah, do. And, and they put it out on this, and that band, Circus Rhapsody, reminded me of a lot of the music that was on there. So I was like, oh. You touched on some nostalgia there, Yakovich. Can I call you Yakovich? Or- Please, yes. Okay, perfect. Or is it Jacob? Jacob what? Uh, Jacob Skolnick. Jacob Paul Skolnick. Yakovich it is. No relation <laughs> to that <laughs> ass clown. <laughs> <Yakovich. now. laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite band on the label? Real shit. Uh, absolutely, BJ Jasbera. Okay, it's gotta let's, be. Let's remove okay, him let's from say, the label. Yeah, he he doesn't doesn't exist. Remove <laughs> BJ from the label. Yeah. Uh, Please. I- I'm really excited on Josh, Josh and the Dirty Rags. I love Steve and Ginny Jack. I love all my my babies the same, you know. You see them it's, like that. They're you... like children, like an extended part of your family, right? They are. They fucking call me at four in the morning. They wake me up every day. I've it's, cried uh, on his shoulder plenty of times. They, <laughs> really? they come over and cry, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, really, I'm a therapist, you know. It's it's not. I, I, I help you put out your music, but I'm also there for you in your time of need. Very nice, I can attest, bro. I can attest. Biggest band that's ever come from your label, or rather, most successful band that's ever been on the label. Define success financially. Yeah, de- define the fuck. <laughs> uh, no one, no one, no one's successful. Are you kidding me? It's fucking music. BJ, dude. Uh, We're all musicians. BJ's paid. Honestly, Bricktop Blaggers. Uh, they've got they've Brick got top some. Blaggers. Yeah, they're on. Oh, they're on like the Spotify Irish Celtic punk playlist. Okay, they, like Dropkicks. Yeah, okay. if you like Dropkick Murphys and shit like that, they're. Uh, and and they've done some pretty big festivals and tours and and they're a great band. Um, what makes you the most proud being a record label owner? What do you weigh your? It's the write offs, bro. That's, yeah, that's that the whole is? thing, right? Why yeah. do you start okay. throwing those white parties on yachts and getting dirt on people? And... No diddy. No diddy. <laughs> when does that happen as a label owner? We did a can, uh, what? A, what did you say? We did a we did a, can, a, fe, a can, can, uh, festival <laughs> at a nudist colony. I was trying to say colony. We did yeah, I bet. Festival at a nudist colony. Three times, two times, two times, three times. Three times, three, three times. times. Did you have to play nude, or did you wear a leaf? Didn't have to, well, but I, I was it was optional. Mm-hmm. But he did it. <laughs> nice. Fuck yeah, Yakovic. Hey, well, I'm happy you're here. We're gonna go over some headlines right now, and we're gonna go ahead and tap into. Everybody's gonna have a little fun. Barry, impress your record label owner and lead the conversation. All right, well, we're talking about uh, intermittent fasting earlier. Isn't that crazy? I think our boy Albert is trying to lose some weight, and he's trying to do it that way. So first off. It fir- it's how I did it the yeah, first time. Yeah, though. first off. We've all intermittent fasted before, right? Yeah. I have. By accident or... No, no, no. Because no, I, like, I, I don't think once, twice is an accident. I feel yeah, like you true. have to do it, like, consistently for at least, like, a month, 30 days or whatever. Yeah. Have you... You've done that. Yeah. And first, have you had results? Yeah. I lost a ton of weight the last mm, time. I a looked ton. good. Yeah. I looked good, dude. Did you? I fucking looked good. When? Bro. Did you put this on Instagram? Because I've been searching. <laughs> I do. I promise you. I, I can send <laughs> you some <laughs> pictures. But how, how deep are you into it now? Uh, today. Today. We started. It's Monday. Okay. Yeah. So we reset every week. We reset every week. This motherfucker was snorting manteca on the weekend. <laughs> Lend it up. I broke. Uh, I broke my fast with uh, screwball. Did you really? Actually, with tres animales was the first thing. But yeah. Tell us the pros of fasting, Barry, and why they're all gonna die. <laughs> Unfortunately, there are none because, according to FortuneWell.com, intermittent fasting is linked to ninety-one percent increase in death from heart disease. So and that's sense. fucked, bro. Because I okay, my biggest weight loss was when I was 238 pounds just leaving the the financial world. I was 238 pounds right before jujitsu. So it was a it was a combination stacking, I believe they call it, mm. of me doing intermittent fasting and jujitsu. And jujitsu. Yeah. And I went from 238 to 197. You know, like I would say in less than a year. What do you weigh right now? Right now I'm at 215, 220. Mm-hmm. I'm in that range right now. At 5'11, looking good. So when you say you're 200 <laughs> at 5'6. Bitch, I'm 5'8". Five, eight. Five, <laughs> I'm 5'8". Five, Yakovich. Yakovich got big teams this early, dog. Hey, hey flexing them teeth sizes on you, yeah, fool. You ain't Yakovich. shit. Yakovich, Yakovich, Yakovich. So, yeah. I think we're all fucked because everybody I know was always... And what does it say about, like, the longevity? How do they know, like, when do I die? So it says that uh, it's not even really... It gets kind of vague because it's not a test that they did. They said it was a test that somebody else did. Mm-hmm. Somebody else termed it the data. But it says that, yeah, it's require, uh, men who are between the ages of 20-something and 48. And they oh, tested, like, four more years, 500. Though. So... It could be a little bit, but I, I feel like, like there's a ton of feel. shit like on the opposite side of that. No, like a, yeah. a bunch of yeah, you can find whatever you want. It's confirmation yeah. bias. Yeah, yeah. That's so what the fuck are we talking about? Let's you. lose some weight, dude. Yeah, let's let just, me, I'm just worried about okay, you. Okay. Bucks. Knowing this, yeah. knowing this fact that yeah. just came out, I don't know. That's are, a okay, fact. knowing I, this I'm bit of information is a fact. Is what I'm saying. You're gonna continue moving with the fasting. Yeah, that the Peloton and Renegade three times a week. 
What is rent? What the fuck? <laughs> it's a fucking gym, dude. What? It's like F45, but cheaper. What is F45? These it's are Marky, things. it's a Marky Marks uh, who also killed somebody. And apparently, a lot of people didn't know that. That okay. Well, interesting story about that. Sorry. I was reading an article. Marky Mark. Mark Wahlberg. Without the Funky Bunch. Yeah, just by himself. He, just he him killed and somebody? Clients. I think he... Uh, Convicted? Uh, Are you talking shit or is this real? I think he took a plea deal, but I don't think he actually killed him. I think he... Felonious? Uh, uh, what's, the, what's the word when you don't actually kill somebody, but you kind of kill somebody? Manslaughter. No, no, no. Attempted. 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 Yeah, he tried to. So he, wait, and the reason I ask if it's a felony... Accidental, accidental, accidental. Like manslaughter, but allegedly. <laughs> I don't think he finished them off. I was reading an Not article like about him. Random that you bring that up uh, about how he's really trying to get a liquor license or like a, a an alcohol license For through Wahlburgers? the yeah through ABC. He wanted to open like a pub, a brewery, oh. or something related in that field, and he couldn't. He sells alcohol though. Yeah, but he he doesn't own it. He might be a figurehead. He might be a. Uh, uh, somebody who represents the brand. For Flech Azul. But what I read is that he was really petitioning hard about like getting this license and being the man and everything, but no lo dejaron, boy, because he had, I guess, he had that one mark on his record. I think Theo Trump will pardon him. You think so? Hey, fool. That's, every time you come on here, you drop a little Theo Trump Theo shit, Trump. homie. <laughs> I just, right? That's not what I call him. That's what other people call him. I just want to make sure. <laughs> you everybody, call him. I just want to make sure everybody identifies. We don't have everybody else on camera. Theo, medium <laughs> sized teeth to you, dog. Big gums. Dog. Oh man. So yeah. What else about Mark Wahlberg? Uh, I don't know. He killed the guy. He's in great shape. He has a gym called F45. How much do you pay to this gym? You're never well, going to go thing, to. That's the thing, bro. Is uh, they used to have one in Chula Vista. That show was like 140 a month. I was like, all right, I'll do that. Where in Chula Vista? Um, by the Costco on H. Well, Rancho right. Del Rey. All right. But the is the, that where the Planet Fitness is now? No, no, no. This is like a little boutique thing. Next oh, to H, H, H. Oh. Yeah. I can't talk too much shit because when we had our first kid, I joined a little boutique gym out in East Lake. Yeah. Uh, B2B? I, just, I need to get like. Do you remember the word B2B or something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bougie one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm shit. bougie for a little bit. I'm huh? so bougie for a little bit. I lost some weight there. Yeah, I just need somebody to like. We need a kickstart, you know? Oh, bitch. Say less. No, I'll, not with you. <laughs> not with you, my boy. I'll be so your stupid. kickstart, doggy. Uh, but we joined Renegade, which is kind of like that, but it was cheaper. How much? 100 bucks a month. How, much, how many times a week do you think you're going to go? I'm going to go three times. Really? This is Fabio, too much for a gym, you guys. It, it really is. And we're going to get Dude, to that, Yakovic. You can talk Jacobitch. to your financial advisor Jacobitch. over here. Yeah. I have a gym built into my house. <laughs> hey, that's right, dog. You they got like CRT and, and cables. And Rogue came out and built a whole gym for us in the pandemic. And what happened? It's, it looks good. It's red and it's that a pantry red now. wall. It's they a did pantry. the logo. Is that where your Peloton is? Is that what? I have a Peloton too, Fuck, man. Dude, I have a fucking rower. Oh, I have man. a rower. I bought mats. Yeah, I have mats. Four mats, dude. What, so what's the deal? I need to, I need a kickstart, motherfucker. I already said, yeah. dude. You're you're gonna, you need, you need hot chicks looking at you in order to work out. I don't know how many hot chicks are going to the 7 a.m. class at Renegade, but. Bro. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be a dad. That should be motivation. That's why, fool. I wouldn't that be able to should, hold her. That should be motivation enough. <laughs> That's why I'm going, dickhead. <laughs> but you're paying like a hundred dollars. You have a. I forgot. You have a whole gym have in a your whole garage, gym bro. In my garage, a Peloton. Mm -hmm. A rower. Yeah. Yeah. Sure do. Wait. A little box jump. Oh, all the weights. Free weights. All the weights. So what are you gonna do with the gym that you can't do at your house? I'm gonna learn some shit. I'm gonna get some, you know. I'm gonna get some fucking. I'm gonna get kickstarted, dude. What about having We're somebody come over and like hill. do some like lessons with you there? Just teach you a routine that you can use on all your shit. It's more expensive than hundred dollars a month. That's a hundred mm. a lesson. Oh yeah, like a one time thing. Be like, hey, I got all these toys. How do I play with them? And then they fucking show you. I mean, I have YouTube. Go to jujitsu. But dog. you need someone to yell at you for a little bit just to like get the fucking blood. Call flowing. Steve. He'll yell at you every day. Yeah, but you'll yell at me about like shit that's real personal and it hurts and shit. And you know what? This is a perfect. It'll hurt your feelings. <laughs> you gotta sit in silence for minutes at a time. Just, this is a perfect opportunity, just dog. Do Look at. Wifey drops the kids off at school yeah. every day, and I get an opportunity to join her every now and then to drop her off, drop the kids off as well. And it's funny because she asks the kids every morning, Jackson, Sonny, Ollie, boom, what color do you feel today? And I'm like, what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> so it turns out she asks them every day, like, what color is your energy? And the kids are Amber is the color of yeah, Take it easy, Nick Hexum. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you like that, Nick Hexum? See what I did there? That's perfect. That Nashville. Nashville. 311, is. everybody. Slam dunk. Um, there's four color schemes on this little spectrum of happiness and energy and uh -huh. everything. And it goes from red, yellow, blue, and green. Like a... Um, so I feel like, text? you know, you always shit on me for shitting on you. Yeah. I feel like you, you, you take it personal. I'm a victim, dude. What color is your energy today, Dom? My entire generation. What, what, what kind of yellow is your right energy now. zone? What are you feeling? It's peanut butter. Red it looks like angry. peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> it's brown. It started strong. Go ahead. I, I ran two miles. Jesus. Did you really? What the fuck did I say He's that He's going to cry. <laughs> He's going to cry. What the fuck would I say that out loud? <laughs> I'm just throwing this guy softballs, dude. This is outrageous. Oh, man. You're better than that. I took Abel and we ran two miles at Kimball Park. Go ahead. Hey, Kimball Park's nice now, dog. I was around there yesterday. So where, where, yeah, where, where, yeah, right. Neither here nor there. At Kimball Park? Yeah, it was part of one of the 
derailments when we went. I'll tell you Sick. more about it. So ran two miles with Abel, then went to the park, fucking threw the ball, then drove up to Vista, showed a house. I was feeling great. But and then, you know, fucking life, dude. It's Monday. You're Look, green right now. And he came here. Yeah. You're green. Green great. is good. Yeah, it showed up here. Green is a good one. Go then then you're, now you're blue. Blue is the bad one. Blue is you're tired. Oh, now he's blue. Blue no. is sad. Feel great. Okay. Slept great. Red is angry. Red is you're not happy with the current situation that you're in. Mm. Something caused you to be upset. No, nah, I'm good. I'm green. I'm chilling. I'm happy. Green is chilling? I'm going to be. I'm green is be, always gold, dog? Look at Universally. Green always. Arre. Me levanto. The world could be on fire around me, but I'm always going to be green, dog. I'm hook. I'm gonna, right now, you're, you're fuchsia. Guess this one. Right in the, I don't know. What's, <laughs> that one? What's, that, what's that one mean, dog? <laughs> right now, you're fuchsia, dog. Perry Winkle. Perry. It dic- the, the, day, the day dictates your fucking color. <laughs> what does it dictate like? The, 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 the or do you dictate the eclipse? Your day. The eclipse is dictating your color, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> is the guy got a two on me today? Yakovic? Barry, what color is your energy today, sake, brother? Dude. I'd say I'm a green. Yeah. I'm green. What's the shade before green? Uh, Blue? The shade? Red. Yellow. Yellow? Yeah, yellow. I'm like a yellow green. Yeah. I'm like right in there. I can Why? be a little better. Like, it's like green, green, you're going. Words. Green, you're good, bro. Yeah. You're good. Green, you're good. Life yellow, is good. Yellow, yellow is like, like you, ah, you, you, know, you might be fucking be someone up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Could be I'm, better. I'm yellow right now. Yeah, you're yellow. I yellow it up. You're blue yeah. right now. Folks. Red is we're fighting. <laughs> Red is it's on and popping. That's it? Okay. Notice how I stay green. All right? Yeah, that's true. Pa que sepas. Esteban is cool as a cucumber. That's just good at Yeah, we're we're yellow right now. Yeah, what about you, Yakovich? Tell me a little bit about yourself and your colors. Yeah, give us your color reading. Fuck, man. Uh, it's like silver. That's not part of the spectrum, Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different spectrum. I'm on a whole different different thing, yeah. yeah. You're on drugs. <laughs> well, well, whatever you guys were giving me over there is... Uh, Do you drink a lot? What? Tell me the life of a music... Uh, a record label owner. Tell me about being a promoter. Tell me about, you know, booking shows at the holding company. Oh, man. Um, Do you have a lot of relationships with some of the... the these uh, t- uh, artists in the industry, I, I have the pleasure of booking some great acts. Uh, we've we've got a really cool lineup coming up at THC. I guess I'll tell you some of our. I just confirmed Inspector Deck from the Wu Tang Clan. Like oh shit, this morning. Um, we we used to do reggae every Tuesday. Unfortunately, we no don't do reggae? that anymore. Why not? Your uh, acronym is literally THC. It is, and and we do we do love the reggae. It just uh, we had to move it off of Tuesdays. We we do have tomorrow's bad seas, which is coming up. That that's reggae. We've got Doyle from the Misfits coming up, mm. which is Barry's. Uh, that's a dude with the hair that goes straight down, right? Fucking love the Misfits. They yeah, all yeah, yeah. And he's like lock. you know ten feet tall yeah. and uh, bodybuilder. His favorite food is ketchup, actually. Really? Um, so the, okay. Are you, the the from Big Are you in charge of? Uh, <laughs> I am the procurer of the ketchup and and the whores, actually. If you want to know a story about Coolio, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> horse. R.I.P. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, yeah, Coolio was my first big booking, actually, and mm. I did him at Tin Roof. Like, uh, did him there? Well, I, <laughs> <laughs> Albert. That's the let, horse. Let, okay, let you're getting your vengeance on me. Yeah, fair. Um, it, it was the first show I'd ever booked, like as as a national headliner, and and I'm really on edge. You know, uh, I'm working at Tin Roof, and and the guys like, you need to be there. You need to escort Coolio in, get his green room situation. So they they call me as they're walking down Fifth Avenue. I got to meet Coolio and like ten. 10 huge dudes, you know, and we're walking down and we come in the back door. Oh, yeah. Going yeah, to yeah. the green room. <laughs> I bet you did. <sighs> I'm easy, giving sorry, you guys the easy. softballs, yeah. <laughs> I walk in and I'm like, all right, so here's your, you know, six bottles of Fireball, your six bottles of whatever else. It was a ridiculous writer back then. And uh, and I'm like, do you, do you guys need anything else? You got your food, your your all the drinks, everything's listed out, you know? And, and he's just like, yeah, man, I need some horse. Oh, yeah. shit. And I was like... You mean like ladies, prostitutes? Like you, you want? And he's and <laughs> like, I'm like, I don't really. That's not part of my job description. He's like, Nah, man, just go out there and fucking get me some horse. And I, I'm like really confused. So I just, wa- I close the door of the green room and I'm like, Okay, let me. I'll come back. I'm standing there just like looking puzzled, you know. And, and one of the servers comes up. And he's like, What's up, dude? And I'm like, Coolio just asked me for some horse. And he's like, Oh, I got this. And he just stands up on the on the bar. Like right at it's right out front of the green room. And he's like, Hey, any of you whores want to party with Coolio? And three girls just turn around, they're like, Yeah. And he's like, All right, yeah, come wait. with me. And just fucking bring him in the back room. He left with all three of them that night. Actually. No way. Yeah. Coolio. Yeah, way. I guess you know if you're uh transparent with your request, that's you what happens. To receive. Closed mouths don't get fed, is what I was always told, brother. <laughs> you're right. No manches. All right, that's an interesting story. I, and now I need another one. Uh, I mean, I got a lot. So Coolio, I, I've booked him on and off until uh, just recently, obviously, and uh, he he was just 
always amazing. Good always dude. really, really good dude. Uh, and you know, he's credited as as being the guy who brought hip hop over to the mainstream, like with he's Dangerous credited? Minds and uh, really? that like that soundtrack. That, I thought it was the MC Hammer. Paradise. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Will Smith. Will Smith. The first Grammy. Summer time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I Young mean, MC. No. no? Too no. much? Will Smith. Will Smith? Nah, yeah, fuck that, dog. LL Cool J. Kid and play? Ooh. Aww. Kid and play. Kid and play? Nah, nah, I think I think Coolio, Dangerous Minds, that's that's the early 90s. Well, he, it's well, like Michelle Pfeiffer. By who? Yeah. Who, Michelle who, Pfeiffer. Well, <laughs> record sales. Like Billboard, <laughs> Billboard top. Sales or whatever. That's that's like the turning point is when Dangerous Minds and Gangsters Paradise came out. That's the first hip hop song that actually charted in the Billboard at like really? Hot 100 and made hip hop actually pop music. That's crazy. Yeah, Look at you. It, it took a, a a music mogul like Yakovich to drop knowledge like that. Oh, dude, that's crazy. We're man. learning stuff. We're learning stuff. Barry? I mean, I don't I don't actually like hip hop. Is the funny thing, and I just I book Ooh. a lot of it because I'm a Jew and I'm good at numbers. And I, sir, I don't know what that means. You, you don't know what a Jew no, is? No, I don't know what I, your, I know your, what your, your, your comparisons that you're doing right now. That's crazy. Yagovich about to get canceled, fool. Who's wait? Who's He's the Jewish? second favorite <laughs> hip hop? I, I can say that there there are words you guys can't say that I can. Like what? Go ahead. I'm say one. Let me hear one. Let me hear one. one. Actually, let's let's do the opposite. Uh, Go ahead. <laughs> Yagovich came with an axe grind today. Yo, you. You book a lot of hip hop. I do. Be, who you be booking, Doug? Uh, moral well, technique. I just got. Uh, I have had a moral technique yeah. a couple days. I was uh, Puerto Rican, right? He's no, amazing. He's Dominican. That's homie that bullied a uh, guy from uh, Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. He, he is Puerto Rican, right? Wait, no, no, no. He bullied a uh, guy Barry, from this Hamilton. Is where you do your job. Guy Barry, from Barry, what's the Barry, guy Barry, from Hamilton? What's the guy from Hamilton? Vernie, you know, you sound look like you listen to Broadway shows. He no. bullied somebody in theater? No, he bullied a, him in high school. He bullied a thespian dog? The guy who fucking wrote, he's like a famous guy. What's the famous guy's name? Sway. Just stand there, dude. Fucking help me here. This is Barry's job. How, who am I Googling? <laughs> who am I Googling? Nah, uh, who, who Immortal the Technique is Hamilton? Peruvian, and Peruvian. they have oh, the best cocaine. Right. Yes, yes, Peruvian uh, cocaine. That's a good song. Great he, song. He's a phenomenal dude. I, I have to say. So you got like, a chance to interact with him. Oh, I, I hung out with him for two days dude, straight. That's awesome. He, he I've did. I always uh, to hang out with Immortal with technique. technique. Yeah. And have him tell you. Oh, well, uh, next time. The devil. Just Ooh, talk it to you. Like bro, not even fucking like rapping. This is, you know. There once was. Blank the whole thing. name William. You, you, you can't know? help but like absorb knowledge from that guy. He's just. He'll oozes sit there and it. talk to you. He and fucking. He's. And he comes out with confidence, bro. He does. Who's your favorite talent that you ever booked? Oof. That would be BJ Jasbera right wow. over there. Barry, yeah, Barry. The best. This is what's going on Bullshit. all day. We might as well just pull the plug on Yakovich, bro. <laughs> Shit. Uh, uh, Immortal Technique. Go ahead. Is Peruvian. Oh, wow. Yeah, but look he bullied, at, he you're on fucking 20 Juan, second delay over Juan there, dog. Juan Manuel Miranda? <laughs> That's all I was looking for. Juan Manuel Miranda, is that the kid's name? Sounds good. Fuck. So he bullied the creator. Yeah, how, of did, how the fuck do you remember that, dude? It's something Miranda. Manuel Miranda. Lin Manuel Miranda. There you go. Hamilton creator. Yeah, see, that's Mortal Technique like is times. one of my favorite rappers, hip hop artists, just persona because he comes legit direct with it. And it's if, if he bullied someone, they had it coming for sure. Well, because as a victim of bullying, in <laughs> oh, <laughs> it looks like you're red again. <laughs> <laughs> as a victim Dude, of those bullying in know. this relationship, uh, nah. But apparently, it was like a, he asked him to apologize. Like once he got famous. And the Mortal Technique was like, nah, fuck that, dog. I stand by what I said. Would you ever apologize to somebody? You were bullied? a punk and you suck at kickball. That's right. <laughs> hey. Real shit. I'm the nicest to everybody, dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there isn't a person other than who, who I've ever been mean to. Bro. Yeah, take a sip of that. <laughs> shit. I don't know if I could apologize to somebody. like, But I, I just crack jokes. I don't necessarily mm. bully. Bullying, I feel, is a whole different battle. Like, you have one guy that you just go in on. I guess the closest person to bullying would be you for me. Yeah. But I feel like I call that <laughs> big brothering. Sure. Big brothering. It comes with love and affection, you know? Is there love and affection yeah. in there? Can uh, we talk about it? Yeah, absolutely. I love you, dog. You're, I, I, and you he needs to hear me? it yeah. every now and then. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> not you. me, dog. Bro, my love for you is as big as your gums, Can dog. we call? <laughs> Can, right? we this? Can we clip this? Can we clip this? He's going to put that on repeat. I love you. I love man. you. Hey, speaking of squatters, what's up, Barry? <sighs> Shit. Well, uh, we've been we've been seeing some stuff in the news about squatting, haven't we? Uh, New York. There's a big thing going on. Do you want to talk about that? Bro, so in New York, Doc, the rules for squatters are as follows. If you are owner of a property and somebody has sent there for like 30 days or something, like they can legally take right of that property. So an example of how that would happen. At least 10 years. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. This thing says 10 so years. No, oh, that's not. like Mexico when they pay Pedrial. Yes, oh, but check this out. So Pedrial. in New York recently, okay. uh, somebody's 
family passed away and they inherited said property. Sure. So they have not been on premise of that property for some time, yeah. at least 30 days or longer. Somebody moved in there, started paying utility bills under their name, and that alone gave them ownership of the property. In order to get them out, they have to go through a whole legal process to get them evicted. That's so bananas. That's As California in, rules too, though. No. Kind of. As a California landlord, I could tell you in, that. No. In, in California, I did this. I looked. And it said, yeah, and it said that they have to have some sort of binding contract saying that they are the actual tenant. But here's the thing. All right, yeah. Is you can go, you can Google lease, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. type in whatever the fuck you want. Neta, that's Police enough. will come out and then go, it's no longer a criminal matter. It's a court's matter to figure out. And, so and that buys some time. And there's shit. one, there's one um, eviction court. In the county. Have you ever had an issue trying to evict somebody? No. Thankfully, everybody, knock on wood, has been great for me. We've had to go through the sheriffs to do that before. It's a, it's a motherfucker, It's a dude. motherfucker, dog. Yeah, it's sure. a motherfucker, you know? But no, I employ all of my tenants, too, so. What does that mean? Well, like, a lot of them do shit for me. Like, it's Lupe. like indentured servitude, yeah, actually. Yeah, That's yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I'll look it up. I told you I read at a fifth grade level. Racism. Right? Just, uh, yeah, what the? Uh, this, I don't know. Dude, seems, you're the property owner. Seems, you're the... Yeah, it ain't that hard, obviously. In California, it's not as lenient as it is in New York, because in New York, bro, they arrested the property owner for changing the locks on her own house. Is that the most liberal state? In it New could York? very well be now. It could very well be, and that's. But I mean, I don't know if that's a liberal issue or just a, a courts. That's legal. a liberal issue. This has apparently been on the books for decades. It's not a new law. This law has been like in the books for decades, bro. And there's actual people who are running this racket as a business. Yeah. Where they hire people to go into these abandoned to, to properties. Get cash for keys. Yeah. And the ultimate way, there's one of two ways that you get out, bro. You know? So it's either you're going to go the court order way and, and follow the legislative, like a uh, six month process minimum of somebody else and months. cash money. <laughs> or le pagas al vato. Hey, here's five grand game. Whatever they, they yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, you see that a lot in California, too. Do we really? Yeah, dude. All right, let me hear it. Um, like, I have buddies that buy flips, you know? And a lot of those. What does that mean? So, like, they, they'll buy, like, a distressed property. Distressed. So, let, so, let's say you're on the other side of that, right? Mm. And you're like, well, dude, I can't get these people out. So, fuck it. I'll sell it to whoever for pennies on the dollar. I just want to get my cash. You figure out these tenant people. So, I buy, like, boys that buy that shit. How do they get them out? So it's either cash for keys or like, you know, you got to go in there and try to show force or you go through the through the process and then you're taking on all that risk that, you know, they're going to break open the walls, take the copper and like, you know, so you they got to buy them cheap to make it work. But most of the time, cash for keys works. So there's one on um, in Chula Vista by Castle Park go ahead. that a buddy of mine owns and there's eight people living in there and they want squatting 20, and they want 20 grand a pop. So each he, one. So he's offered them five G's each. OK, to take 40 off, racks. Right. You know, and he's like, OK, that we can still make that work with the flip. And now it's like. They're like, now we want 20 or figure it out. Neta, bro. See, and the cops can't get involved. We can't, we can't call oils, issue. bro. It's a civil issue. Bro. Nah. Yeah, so it's, so it's fucked. But, I mean, it's part of the, you know, it's part of the risk you take when getting in that industry. Well, not it's also there, there to protect happened. people. People are taking advantage of that rule. But, like, yeah. that rule is there to protect people, too. Like, yeah, there's yeah, a thing yeah. about, like, the 30-day thing is, like, if you have someone move into your apartment, but they're not on the lease, and they stay there, like, after 30 days, they can't be asked to leave without, like, a formal eviction. Like, really? But they also like, have to be put on the lease. Like, they... There's like rules about it. It's about protecting people, but people are just taking advantage. Chula as a city just changed the rules. Go ahead. So um, you used to be able to give somebody a notice like, hey, you move out. De la verga notice. 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, whatever the lease said. And now the only way you can do that is if you're going to move back into that property yourself and live there 12 months and not just really? kick somebody out to raise the rent, which people were doing. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, you own like uh, where you live down the street. There's those little apartment mm -hmm. blocks, right? Those are $1,500 for two bedroom on Third Avenue. Really? That's what I have friends that live out there. That oh, that's wow. what they pay, right? So they can't just kick them out and go to Market Valley, which Market Valley is probably twenty four, twenty five hundred bucks, yeah. right? So they set that rule in place, and that rule's there, and it makes sense, right? Somebody's, you know, expenses are have been set, and then you know you kick them out, they go back out to the oh, market. Look at your green now. Look at that you. Every time you talk about real estate, yeah, it's, 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 it's actually money, you're, you're dialing into your money, your money <laughs> yeah, vibe here. Yeah. So these motherfuckers, they, you can't kick them out. Yeah, you can. I mean, there's ways, bro. Yeah, you can't fall. I know your friends, though. You know who you can't kick out? Mm. Who? People who are frogging. You ever heard of that? No. Oh. For what? You guys never heard of frogging? Sexually so, or? Oh. Uh, when you were talking about squatting, it made me look this up because I heard about it a while ago and I wanted to look into it deeper. This is called frogging. It's when uh, someone secretly lives in another person's home without <laughs> oh, yeah. their knowledge. Oh, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> this is crazy. How do you pull that off? Oh. So there's uh, apparently movies about it on Netflix and uh, there's like a series. I, forget, I think it's called frogging. But yeah, so like, let's say you have an attic that you never go into. Check it out, because someone might be living in there. 
Nah. And they just they'll like come down during the day when they know you're gone. They downtown it, it happens like, oh, all the shit. time. Actually, I used yeah. to work at the field, and uh, they would have people that would come in and, and stay in the attic. Or um, my my girl used to work at a strip club downtown. Whoa. The Go steak ahead. place. Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's no, there's no encore. There's I learned that the hard way, dog. <laughs> Is he had to go in there and eat steak. Yeah, like, what the fuck, <laughs> You and a lot of disappointed tourists for sure. Good but yeah, steak, they, by they the way. had someone living in the attic for sure. Like it, I think it was a couple, and they would come in and and like they would stay there every night, and then they would like leave before the shift started. And that's crazy, man. That's the balls. The audacity, the, the 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 set on these guys that go in there and make that happen. Is that shit cultural? I don't know. What the fuck? There's a whole thing on Reddit. There's a subreddit no, of out. people who hear are frogging. Yeah, well, what's and the culture stories? that's doing that? Yeah. Hear me <laughs> out, dog. Hear me out. I only know my culture. Go ahead. Right. He's about to say something racist. <laughs> no, I and apparently know. in our culture, we kick our moms out of our house. You, you got a Jew over <laughs> here. You can you can uh, expand your horizon. First. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> So like, don't fucking do this, dude. You're about to put a reference. Don't move what I'm trying to do. Let something, me hear bro. your cultural reference. No, like I feel like we as uh, and Mexicans? again I only know my reference. Go ahead. Like, my my uh, culture. So as Mexicans, like they're like primero la renta siempre. Like my tenant through uh, COVID, she had COVID protection. Okay. She still paid every month. Oh, cool. Like you know, Gloria yeah. took care of her shit. That yeah. was like at the top of her list. So culturally, I feel like we're because not, you were making her. or... I, I couldn't even make her. There she had that knife on her she was neck. Like, <laughs> she better pay this uh, shit, man. But everybody that I had like that, they paid. Nice. So is it a cultural thing? I don't know, fool. Well, you're Did you pay your culture. rent? Did I pay my rent? Yes. No, culturally, we weren't supposed to. You know, <laughs> The Jews were supposed to take advantage of every governmental aid Damn, that was bro. possible. Hey, you're doing your best to get canceled today, bro. I am. I am. Talk of Good on you, bro. Good All right, wait. I, I got a question. Oh, you, you no. said, Here we go. You said you have to kick your moms out. Here we go. Uh, that's a good topic to go on. <laughs> go Esteban, w are you going to keep your mom in your house? Or? My mom, they have their own home. Oh, but cool. if needed, if needed, my home is always available. 100%. It's always there. Uh, my I think mom, cultural, that's the thing. Yeah, my we want to keep our moms close. My mom takes care of yeah. my abuelita. My abuelita's 97 years old. So she she takes care of her at their house right now. And I feel like that's what's expected of me. But mm -hmm. I'm going to pass that along to my sister. Yeah, and I think sister, that's a, I think that's, I think that's a good thing. It's sisters. Yeah, Send them off like, to hey, sisters. You know what? I like that. Shit, let's go. So my, someone's yeah. got to do it. But yeah. if, no, if you I told them. I told them. I said, real shit. We're, you guys are going to the fucking, you know, convalescent home. You know, to pick, pick whichever one you want. We really? got you. Then I'll, I'll get you the nicest one yeah. possible. Yeah, <laughs> freaking Frederica Manor. How much are those shits? I feel like I don't know. Expensive, the new bro. ones on thirty k. The new ones on thirty k are probably pricey. Sixty five hundred. Those things are bro. nice. I'm gonna put one. Put my parents in the one that uh, Tony Soprano put his mama in. Oh. In Greenville. Greenville. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking what about the one from Happy bro. Gilmore? <laughs> I've never watched that movie, dog. You, you've never watched Happy Gilmore. They're making no, a new really? one, actually. No. You've never. Does that bother you, Barry? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Barry. I'm Barry's fucking googling it. Yeah, they're making a new one. You love golf. Okay, but I Go don't ahead. like hockey. It's not a hockey. It's a golf movie. He's wearing a hockey oh jersey. Yeah. Here's the thing. It's about raise the my, internet. Okay? We, I took my family to their first hockey event this weekend. And only because it was emo night. Hit me with that picture so we can see that shit. Oh, yeah, the yeah. goals emo night. Yeah, I it, saw you guys. That's... It was, I was there. <laughs> yeah. Did you see me? I did. Creep. <laughs> Look at that. Welcome to emo night. San Diego goals. What did it mean in the bottom? Flashing lights warning. What does that mean? For like, uh, ne the there was like... going to be a lot of strobe for like epilepsy. Oh, yeah, uh, epileptic. Yeah. 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 Um, it was fun. <laughs> you know, like the kids love. The kids have never been to How was the playlist? Games. We had a good time. The playlist was whack. The playlist was definitely whack. The playlist was horrible. They were playing like non-emo songs. Hello. It's Some 41 night. is not emo. <laughs> yeah. They hit, they did hit us with a little really dashboard. Right now. They hit us with a little dashboard. What was like uh, the worst? Like in. the most outrageous song that made the playlist uh, at the Gulls Some game. 41. Yeah, some forty. Yeah. Which which some forty one? Fat lip. lip. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> song. I was like, yeah, but it's not an emo. Where's song, that from? It's like, it's like pop Steve punk. Videos? Yeah, yeah. Uh, from Apple American Pie. Apple Pie. American, from American Pie? Pie. Right. <laughs> right. It's on. It's on that shit. Oh, it was it's from Spider MTV Man? back in the day. You know when they had yeah. videos, music videos. Yeah. Barry, show the picture of you and I embracing each other at our first look at that. Look at us, Kevin, huh? He was scared. Emo That's night. beautiful. Uh, Kevin, we the were there. They entered at the right time because they came late, but they came right for a fight. Mexican time, and they got to see the goals guy win. Yeah, so the goals mm. you, in hockey, guys. I don't know if you're aware of this. Go ahead. You can fight. I'm sure he's aware. Of you can fight, oh. bro. And I guess the rule is, I guess the rule is, 
No one intervenes in this fall. quarrel until somebody falls down. Yeah. And they were going at it, dude. Two white guys fighting it out about whose mom puts the most raisins in their fucking potato salad, probably. <laughs> but they were just wailing on each other, dog. And then the pinchy dude from the goals reached back with his left. Sass in the little sequel, dog. No. And then dude, little kisser. Folded him. <laughs> and all of my kids all of a sudden awoke from their hockey slumber and they're like, yeah. Like hey they were, my God. Dude, they were all about it. Full, no way. Yeah, it was sick. And the guy and was. And we like, took a couple of them to go do the chuck a puck. Dude, like, that's they were. A big the chuck a puck. The, chuck the, wait, hold up, though. The goals <laughs> guy, the, the hockey player for the goals, was hyped that he knocked that fool on his ass. He knocked him on his ass or he knocked him out? He knocked him on his ass. Right, not bro. out. And he just kind of was like going, oh, like flexing all over I the eyes. Bro. Yeah. I, Rip his fucking jersey that's, off. Though. That's the thing. So you, you do that and you celebrate winning that quarrel. Quarrel. Right then and there. Like, it's not like a... That's more important than the game, actually. At that point, it Sometimes, looked like they yeah. were losing 3-0. No, oh, fuck it. <laughs> just like any other San Diego team, dog. They just, what happened? Did Whoa. I offend you? Did, what, kind of. They, what did we lose? 4-1? to one? The goal we scored was like on accident. I think it bounced off some dude's skate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got two, call my 30. All, they called like rebound and it went, pink. My miss, bro. Backboard. It was also cool because uh, Sonny Sandoval was there to promote his Youth of a Nation Foundation. And yeah, uh, yeah. So my I saw Josh him. does his videos over there. He's a good he do, dude. He yeah. do my videos. Yeah. Now, yeah. Is he doing your videos? Yeah. Pretty expensive, huh? Eh. Eh. What's your porn hub? Huh? Mm. <laughs> Got him. At Booty Eater 619. That's how you get pink eyes. This is hockey, right? Ah, look, at yeah. look, at look at that. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Yeah. Why don't white cry? Bring it back. Yeah, why do we celebrate this, fool? I feel like you'll never see the white on white as often. Yeah, we do, fool. Nah. Most of the time, if you look, like, you they still got their helmets the on. They do get fucked up, but, like, it's just a tough guy thing. And also, like, most of the time, they're defending somebody. I'll so, get my like, ass kicked, duh, by any hockey player, but I can't take you seriously if you're spreading, like, little ice chips on me when you go down the rink. Like, well, a lot of times, like, they'll, they'll, like, hit somebody too hard, and then it just becomes, like, a we're defending this small guy kind of thing. The big guys Stop come before out. I throw ice on you. I'm like, <laughs> the fuck, fool? <laughs> So that's why I've never watched uh, Happy Gilmore. I don't understand hockey. Well, it's not a hockey it's movie. It's a, a golf movie. You I, need get to see it. It. I get it. I get it. I get it. In theory. I get it. In theory. No, actually, I just never came across watching it. Big big fan it's of it. It's on TV every Saturday. And do you like Adam Sandler? Channels, I dude. love Adam Sandler. Okay. Do you really? Yeah, dude. It's like the Billy Adam Madison Sandler is movie. in my top three movies of all time. Oh, well, you were just like, that was the next Happy one. Happy Madison. That's that the other half. I, I like uh, Waterboy. I'm a big fan of The Wedding Singer. I hated Waterboy. My kids love Big Daddy. The Wedding Singer is good for the first Wedding Singer is good throughout, bro. Huh? It's, it's got some good throughout. songs. Yeah. I like that like little uh, singing portion that he does. DJ, DJ, DJ does, does that food. song, actually. No, that's Craig. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking cow, man. That's so good. <laughs> that's a good one. See? Yeah, that's, uh, all right. Sorry, dog. Oh, Plomero. Plomero. Mm, go always ahead. a pleasure. Take it easy, brother. Have a good one. Plumero, hey, while we're on uh, highlighting events coming up before we wrap all this up, yeah. April 20th, 420. Yeah. 420, 420, 420. A lot of things happening on 420. Vern, stay tuned. We are going to be having... Here at the warehouse, mm -hmm. our yoga sesh, our 420 yoga sesh, brought to you by Grasshopper and Sluggers. Namaste, Make sure you come homestead. in. It's going to be from 9 to 12 in the morning, sponsored by Grasshopper, yeah. sponsored yeah. by Sluggers. Sluggers was gracious enough to give us his little party pack so we can promote it. What's so in Sluggers? This, Sluggers is a brand that creates mini pre-rolls, and in these pre-rolls, they're shaped like baseball card can packs, bro. Abs don't open it. because It's incredible. It's yes. nuts. So inside is five mini pre-rolls. and And, and uh, they have, like, little baseball cards in there and shit. It's pretty cool because look at the branding, The bro. packaging alone the is packaging fucking worth keeping. Is, it's, it's legit, dog. It's like you're opening a, a Donruss card. This is what it looks from like. The you still got that case yes. in there? Yeah. That's, this so is, this is what it looks like when you open it. Camera two. Open it up. How many are in there? Shout out to Sarah Gabe. I don't know. Well, yeah, we have our, our plug, our connect is Sarah One from Texas and Gabe from Bonita Vista High School. Homies, that uh, they're going to be bringing everybody in, in attendance a nice little package of weed. A nice little package of pre rolls, dog. Sluggers. And how much is it to get in? Sluggers, it's, sluggers. Do we decide on a price? We're to get deciding in? on $10. $10 gets you into the party. It's Thank from 9 to 12. We'll have music. We'll have the yoga sesh. Do we need I'm sure yoga we'll have mats. giveaways? We might add. No. Uh, Bring Kula your own yoga. mat. Kula Yoga is gracious enough to put this on for everybody. And they will be bringing all of the mats. But if you are of the type that needs your own mat, bring your own mat. Ain't no one going to stop you. Do your thing. Grasshopper will also be. Throw in a little green love our way. Boom, boom, boom. April 20th, 420, 9 to 12. Here. Right here. I'll be here. At the Emo Brown headquarters. I haven't smoked very much this year, but I feel like that's the day I'm probably going to do it. My mom says she's going to come, too, so I'm going to feel a little weird. Is she going to smoke? Does your mom Does smoke? smoke? <laughs> no, nah, my what mom. No, no, no. They ain't about that life. Edibles. I feel like Chicali would like they it, They are dog. not about that life. It took them 44 years for them to realize that I'm about that life. 
And it's and no, I think they really because you say it on the couple, podcast every week. Ago. <laughs> but I don't smoke. That's the thing. Like I talk a lot of shit, but I, I, I truly, I don't smoke that. What much. do you do? Nothing. I'm water. What do you do? Nothing. Walk five miles. Do a lot of crying. <laughs> Ketamine. <laughs> <laughs> the Ketamine's not a drug anymore. Hey, you ever see, you ever see the little homie in uh, the Tulum fucking hotel? Go ahead. He's in there cleaning. and yeah. He finds people's. Uh, they, he finds their ketamine. Okay. And he thinks it's coke, so he does a line, and no. then he gets stuck in a k-hole. Bro, please Google that. No. Like, please Google Tulum k-hole. <laughs> it is the fucking funniest shit. It's the funniest face. It's every uncle I've ever. No, that's not. I don't know if that's all the that. uncles. No, nah, I don't. I don't have any uncles like that. All my uncles are older, but it's it's. I've seen a couple guys on Third Avenue like this. Not a downer or anything like that, but also 420 is the anniversary of our good homie El Compa Dwayne. Yay, His uh, family reached out to me and they would like to have a little gathering yeah. at the brewery. So I'll be going there after. If you guys want to, everybody love Dwayne. I miss Dwayne. I don't. I don't. I honestly, it's one of the people I I come across in life that I've never met anybody who disliked Dwayne. Dwayne is the homie forever. I've known that little guy since he was 16. He passed away. How long has it been now, Bernie? Three years. It's yeah. been three years since my dude has passed. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be having a little, yeah, that's crazy. a little salucita, a little cheers in his honor. What time? Uh, they're going to be there from two to five on uh, four twenty at the Barista. So cruise through, cruise through. I invite right. all of you if you if you, if, if Dwayne ever uh, visited, if you ever visited Dwayne, came to the brewery or anything, I invite you to open your little bottle of screwball and just take a little pour, pour the, one out. The little, the, I'm not gonna pour anything for him. No, uh-uh. I drink for him. Mm, mm, mm. Young Dwayne. Usually, what I've been doing for the last two years. And uh, I did an episode with Dwayne, a podcast with him, like a few months before you my guy passed. It? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I dropped that a long time ago. No, you're going to redrop it. Like oh, that. that's what I do. I'll drop it again for yeah. his day. Just in, And I told his mom, I said, that's what I do on that day that he passed. Like, I'll just listen to it. And it's all, I don't know, man. It makes me feel all weird, but it makes me feel connected to him. Because it was a really good episode. It was a really good podcast. It was a good old-fashioned Dwayne, just cracking jokes, being funny. So I'll release that for everybody. Cruise through. Guess what else is on 420, Perritz? Oh. Grasshopper. They're going to be there oh, doing an shit. event. Yeah. I'm going to try and pop in, but guess who's in charge? Barry is going to be there. Barry is going to be with a traveling microphone and a little 360 handheld camera that we're going to bless we're gonna him with. going to be interviewing people on the streets. You and Javi. Yeah. Javi, Javi came in and he said, hey, bro, He's the perfect I'm going to be hanging out with Barry and we're going to be going around. And I said, all you got to do is ask one question. What does 420 mean to you? Where's Mama Kush? Javi's oh. going <laughs> to forget that line, dog. I, I made him write it down. Javi's going to forget that line. <laughs> I made him write it down. So he's going to be there. Barry's going to be there. I'm going to do my best to pop in as well. But as you see, it's going to be a very busy day. 420, who would have thought, dog? 420 was a busy day. Um, a lot of shit going on that day. Yakovich, what do you got going on at 420? Uh, Eden party at the holding company. There it is, bro. What does that mean? What's an Eden party? Yeah. Everybody's gonna be naked? Uh, it's a queer girl party mm -hmm. that happens. Uh, they, they crush it. They always have DJs and it's a packed house and it's just, uh. Everyone's welcome? Everyone's welcome. All right, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Um. You're not selling me, bro. Come on. Ken Bordell got any gigs? <laughs> <laughs> Barry had to rescue you, bro. <laughs> Barry, <Shit>. Barry did. <laughs> Barry did. Tell me I want to say something stupid. Huh? <laughs> is uh, honestly, 420 is looking great. I'm I'm gonna be here for the yoga. I think. Are you really? Yeah, yeah. Hey, you're gonna have to keep coming back. I feel. Yeah, I feel like we, we, it's two we, weeks in a row. This is the most consistent I've been in a while. What's the so. 33 on your hand for? You keep throwing that out. Uh, that? Do I? It's, mm. it's like I'm I'm, mm, mm, I'm mm. signaling you. What is it? Subliminal. Uh. You know what? It's uh, it's just a personal, Shit, wonderful. Say less, bro. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I came on a podcast not to tell you shit about this. <laughs> like a little mystery. Well, this, let me. <laughs> this one thing is off limits. You know everything else. Hey, we all got a line. <laughs> let me tell you about this one. The link up Wednesday, April seventeenth. Chicle will be here. I got some things to get off my hey, chest. Bro, you want to go? Dog. Hey, I invite you. I Let's feel like go. you're going. Yeah. Are you going to respect the, the circle? I always say. How many people go in there and like talk about Steve, you think? No uh, one, because I've been there. <laughs> yeah. No one's talking. Nobody's talking about you while you're there. I do. The, the you make people sensitive. Wednesday, April 17th. We have it every third Wednesday of the month here at the warehouse, Emo Brown headquarters. As you see, the address is down below. It's a safe space for men, which sounds a little weird until you actually <laughs> sit, until you actually sit in and listen to people's stories. Yo, we have some shit. Yeah, we, dog. we hold some shit go, tight. Go go trauma. Jokovic, Jokovic I'm looking shit. at you because I know you're coming on a, a new chapter in your life where a lot of things are going to be changing. This, that, and the other. I highly recommend you go. I'm gonna go with you. You know, we all got struggles, bro. 
All of us got struggles Wednesday? that we come from. We come from that background, that culture where it's almost like taboo, looked down upon to like express yourself and, and share your 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 thoughts and your feelings. I do that here on the podcast. For me, that's helped a lot. So I don't think I need to do any of that. But this also helps. Go for them. I, I invite you. My guess huh? is it like AA? No, not at all. But what happens? More like Al like, on. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> But what happens stays there. You go up, um, but do you go up there and like? No, it comes to you. Oh, okay, it comes to you. You can skip. You, yeah, you you no. At Pass. least you introduce yourself and say how you doing. I'm Albert. You know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Why did you laugh? <laughs> Why did you laugh? Because I felt I saw him what brace fuck, for impact. Dog. I saw him like just kind of grip the chair. And be like, all right, bitch, <laughs> let me go. have it. Here we let go. Let's go. <laughs> God, no, you damn. know. I want you to go. Okay. Make me a promise. You're going April 17th here with me. Chicle and a few of our other good friends. It, it it gets packed. He's really I'm thinking sure about it too. Well, There's been like upwards of fifty dudes here. Upwards of fifty? No, for that for that that's a lot of dudes that are here just ready to like get shit off their chest. I've seen more dudes in one room. True crime trivia, Barry. True crime trivia. Is up. True crime trivia what does that is mean? back at Third Avenue, Chula Vista. There it is. True oh, Crime nice. Presents. A little True Crime Trivia. Wednesday, April 10th, 7.30 in the Pizam. Three Punk Ales on 3rd Avenue. More information. Follow them on the bottom. These are actually fun. I am not a fan of trivia nights and and, and, and um, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, people? R- 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 gimmicky nights. Oh. Or people, yes. I don't like people. <laughs> or gimmicky nights like that at the brewery. But guess what? A lot of people are, dude. My mom goes, my sister goes, wifey goes, a bunch of people go. Good if they're early because I do hear that uh, the teams fill up quickly. I'm going to donate some gifts from here. I might donate that skate deck, that Three Punk L skate deck as one of the Who's behind as the, the bar. Awesome, prize yeah. victory. What's up, brother? Who's behind the bar? Behind the bar that night is Camille Wednesday. It's on Wednesday. She's still working, Yeah, huh? yeah Wednesday. Damn. So she'll be there holding it down. Cruise through. I'll head on down there. I'll be there for you guys as well. Uh, what else do we have to promote? Barry, get at me. Uh, for myself, I've got to this Wednesday. I'll be at the Tipsy Crow. No, I just did that one. No, this is the, this Wednesday. This Wednesday, Tipsy Crow, and the nineteenth, I'm back at uh, Carlsbad at American Heroes and Brews. That's gonna be a big one. You love Sheesh. Carlsbad now, huh? Yeah. They love me, so I'm taking You've it. Worn I'm out your welcome. You in the look South like Bay. everybody who lives in Carlsbad, dog. Yeah, it's true. I feel a little more comfortable up there. Yeah. Do you really? No, I don't. <laughs> oh man. Last time I played, I brought everybody, so it was tight. It was just like my birthday party, so everybody. You took them to Canada. I took them to Canada. That's yeah. hella we far, dog. And then we stayed in a hotel and we tore that shit up. Did you? Yeah, what we did, did you do? We, went, we fell asleep by 9.30. Pete was in the room. Hell yeah. <laughs> you do you give me a little hint of MGK in your system, dog. You look a little MGK-ish. MGK? Yeah. Machine gun cat. Yeah, a a couple of cats like to Ozzy go Osborne, when Molly he's Cruz. there. Kurt Cobain. How about that? Yeah, about that? <laughs> All right, much better. I made it too far in this life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, good show. Thank you for coming in, Yakovich. We're going to have you on a lot more. Thank you for having I me. I know you're coming down from Canada as well. No big deal. Albert? Yo. Welcome. Huh? I'm happy you came. I'm happy you're here. I'm happy you came. I'm here every fucking just Monday. Give me, no, you're not. Just give me the green light, dog, and we'll do it. We're here Mondays. All right, cool. If you're cool. looking to buy or sell at home. There you go. There you go. Can't fucking... What is your event? Imagine if I had that information. Come here. Here, I'll pimp it out. Come here, I'll pimp it out. The art and... F- uh, oh, no, I, I, should, I should mention I got Josh in the Dirty Rags single coming out on hey. April 19th, and it's his first single on the label, and then his EP is dropping... Uh, in May, Josh and the Dirty Brags, and then uh, BJ's got some new music in the pipeline too. Which yeah, we're gonna start recording that this week, actually. On we're Tuesday. gonna start recording that, but you also have two singles to release. So uh, BJ's got some new music coming out. Vernie's got some shit going on. All right, handle, handle. Say it, Dude, say it for Vernie. Art Inflection. Go ahead. Is having an event. Handle at the Wonder Museum. Oh, that's right. We did hear about that. Get the your Wonder tickets Museum. right now, All dude. Right, it's cool. happening April eighteenth between yes. six and ten p.m. All right. Circus shit. Crazy shit. I didn't know they like to be referred to as circus performers. Is that what you like to be perform- uh, uh, referred to as? That's what that's what that's what she said. Are you a circus performer? She's like it's a burlesque and it's not like we're pole dancers or anything, but there are pole dancers. There are pole dancers. But we have confirmed there are pole dancers. There will be pole dancers at this event. Albert will be there. <laughs> no poles, just dancers. Thursday, April 18th from 6 to 10 p.m. Our art inflection will be featured at the Wonder Museum. Get your tickets now. Your link, the link is in the bio. Link in bio of Vernie's page. All right. You know what? Shoot me that so we can promote it. Because we'll I'm gonna be releasing your episode, her episode, their episode, Art the Inflection episode. on Wednesday. And that way we can Thursday, go ahead and push it. Thursday, April 18th. No, way, way before that. We can promote it before then. To 10 p.m. Catch Art Inflection at the Wonder Museum. There it is. They're gonna be doing wild Absolutely shit. Absolutely awesome. Wild shit. Absolutely yeah. awesome. Uh, it was good to be back and do one of these episodes. We haven't done one Missed of these in a while, week. bro. <laughs> yeah, we didn't do this fuck? last week. Missed both of you. And where you at? We didn't do it the week before. So this is the first one. It was a little rusty because we had a new white guy in the routine. But hey, 
And then, dude, uh, you guys did great, by the way. Oh, yo, duh. <laughs> three <laughs> weeks ago, we had fucking alien shit going on. Yeah, bro. We've come a long way. We've dude. come a long way. Well, stay tuned. We got another episode coming up. Angel Cortez is back. That's right. <laughs> for OG Pumpkin himself. Mm. Hit the button, brother. <laughs>